Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Just some some slight news coming from the Saints um, this morning. Couple roster moves, couple uh, actually couple contract moves, I would say. Um, the Saints have created some cap space or lowered their cap number from seventy million. They converted Michael Thomas um, salary, also Ryan Ramchick salary, uh, fourteen million to eighteen million a piece, and created almost a little over twenty six million in cap. So uh, that that lowers that number from seventy. Cutting down of a third of that cap number already with uh, just two moves into the all season. That number now puts the Saints at about forty five million over the cap. I'm sure they'll get under that very very quickly with a couple more restructures and things like that. But big move for the Saints. Obviously have to get under that cap number. I think we should. I think we're going to get that cap number to about a uh, positive ten to fifteen million, which will you know create us. Uh, we'll be able to do other moves basically and things like that and not just keep the guys we have Maybe we'll be able to sign a free agent or two and things like that So we'll see you know how this progresses throughout the summer uh, Throughout the off season is very very early still But the Saints are always ahead of the curve when it comes to these contracts Creating 26.1 26.217 million specifically in cap today With just two uh, strokes of a pen basically Also this news means basically Michael Thomas will be a Saint next year this isn't news to me. This may be news to some of y'all, but with the Saints basically giving him a $15 million signing bonus, he won't be going anywhere this, this year. He won't be getting traded or anything like that. He will be a part of this team. Uh, so so is Ramchick. So will Ramchick, but that was never like you know a case of him leaving or anything like that. But this basically guarantees Michael Thomas will be a Saint this year. Hopefully he's healthy. Hopefully he's ready to play. Um, with the Saints giving him this big signing bonus, I, I would assume he's pretty healthy and he's ready to go. Um, I don't know that until I see it, but this is a good sign and a step in the right direction for the Saints and Michael Thomas to be on the same page. With that cap number going down, it's plenty, plenty guys that can, um, you know, get this cap number lower. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, who just got that huge, huge deal, they can save up to almost $20 million with him just by restructuring his contract. I'm sure that'll get done soon. Uh, Taysom Hill, who signed the new deal, he can he can get restructured. Elvin Kamara, who has a big deal, can also get restructured. Andre Speed can get restructured. So it's plenty of guys that can you know uh, restructure these contracts. The Saints set these contracts up so that they'll be able you know to be restructured because we've been in a, a little cap hell hand quotations for a couple of years now. So the way the Saints have been setting up all these new contracts have been so they can move this money around and you know. Um, Help the team out later down the line. Obviously, you got the Marcus Davenport extension, David Onyemata extension. There's a couple guys that can get it extended, you know, and that'll help the team out for sure. So we'll be looking at, you know, more more moves late. Oh, I forgot about Cam Jordan. Cam Jordan's probably going to get restructured or something like that as well. So Demario Davis, there's plenty, plenty of guys, man, that can get restructured to get this cap number to zero. But me, I'm going for it all. I don't want the cap number to get to zero. I want that cap number to get to positive 10, 15, 20 million if possible. That way we'll be able to go out and sign, a, you know, a guy, a key guy that will help this team, you know, in free agency. But we'll see how that goes as the offseason progresses. But this is a step in the right direction. This shouldn't be real news to anyone. Uh, it's going to be news to out to uh, fans outside of New Orleans, though, because people are just stupid. They say it every year, oh, we're in cap hell, this or that, this or that. We won't be able to get to the cap number. Going to have to cut everybody. We never will. Mickey Loomis and the guys that's under him do do too much of a good job for this to ever be a problem for the Saints. So we'll be looking forward to this all season, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. But like I said, this does guarantee Michael Thomas will be a Saint next year. This is the biggest news out of this restructure. Um, even though I knew he was going to be a Saint, they weren't just going to give up on him after one year, basically, of, of being injured the entire season. So hopefully he's healthy. Hopefully he's ready to go. And that's honestly the biggest takeaway from this news is that Michael Thomas will be a Saint next year. And hopefully he's ready to go, man. We need we need him back on that field. Bad, 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 bad. I can't stress enough how bad we need him on that field to help that receiving core and to help whoever's going to be playing quarterback next year. But, yeah, that's many Saints news, man. Be on the lookout later today for some Pelicans talk, man. Big win from them last night against the Phoenix Suns. Uh, even though it wasn't without, without Chris Paul. Even though it was without Chris Paul, excuse me. But still a big dub. I will be talking about that a little later today, man. But thank y'all for tuning in. Once again, it's the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.